Subscribe to Tech Droids and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update in the future. Hey what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And now that PC power pricing is finally coming back to normal, I take you guys on the best $500 gaming PC you can do right now for like, you know, late 2018. So this is going to be a budget beast. For $500 you'll get a lot of value from it. You can play games, edit videos and do a lot more. And yeah, if you're interested, keep watching, like this video, subscribe to the channel and in today's video I take you guys on the parts you need to build this PC and towards the end of the video we'll talk about the performance numbers and the benchmarks and also I'll suggest you guys some future upgrades. And with that being said, all the parts that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are affiliate links if you want to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead and buy from those. And with that being said, let's get on with the build. Moving over the parts very quickly, for the CPU we have the Intel Core i3-8100, it's a quad core CPU with four threads, it has a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz, six megabytes of cache, Intel UHD graphics 630, and Intel opt-in memory support for 124.99. Now to house that CPU, we have the Gigabyte B360M DS3H. This is a really good value for money, LG1151, a micro ATX motherboard, USB 3.1 Gen 1, USB 3.0, 4 slots of DDR4, HDMI and a micro ATX form factor for only $69 and this should get the job done as well. For RAM we have 8GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 at 2400MHz for $69.99, 8GB for $69 is not a bad deal and RAM pricing finally seems to be coming down back to normal. And for mass storage, we have the WD Blue 1 terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, 64MB of cache and a 3.5 inch small form factor for only $44. I'll also suggest a SSD from Kingston that is currently retailing for $28, that is the Kingston UV400. It's a 120GB SSD that should offer you decent speeds up to 300MB per second plus read and write. So yeah, that's a very good upgrade and it's a no-brainer for $28. Now to power this whole build up, we have the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus wide certified power supply with a 3 year warranty. 500 watt should be more than enough to power this whole build up and also leave some headroom for future upgrades and it's from EVGA that's a reliable brand. For only $32, this is not a bad deal. Now for the graphics card and the star of the show, we have the MSI Gaming Radeon RX 560, the Aero ITX version. This is kind of small in terms of the looks, but this is a really good graphics card. It has 4GB of GDDR5 memory, DirectX 12 compatible. This is kind of VR ready as well with a 7000MHz memory clock and HDMI, DVI and DisplayPort for only $129.99. I'll link up some optional GPUs in the description down below if you want more power and you should totally upgrade to one if you're looking to game seriously. The case we have the Thermaltake View 21 which is an absolutely gorgeous case with you know dual tempered glass side panels, ATX in form factor and a black color. This looks absolutely beautiful with USB 3.0 audio jacks and the space for all the beefy graphics cards and the air coolers that, that you want to add and also some expansion slots for graphics cards and storage if you want to add in the future. And for $50, this is not a bad deal. So that's about it for the parts. Now let's talk about performance and some future upgrades. This is a $500 gaming PC build and it's a budget beast. Don't get me wrong. Keep your expectations down because this is going to give you performance according to its price. It's going to perform really well for a $500 gaming PC. You can game at 1080p 60fps in all the modern AAA titles. You won't be able to max them out. No ultra settings, no maxing out textures, no maxing out, you know, anti-aliasing, but this will be able to play any game you throw at it for the next few years. And yeah, it's going to be capable of doing more than gaming. You can do productivity, video editing and some light live streaming. I don't, you know, say gaming, but yeah, you can maybe live stream your webcam or something on YouTube or Twitch. But you know, overall, this is a really good budget balanced gaming PC for $500. You're getting a lot of value for money, so when you're spending less, you get a lot of value. And talking about some future upgrades, add more storage, maybe a SSD, add more RAM, maybe make it 16 gigabytes, and get a better GPU, a 1050 Ti or you know something from the next generation from Nvidia or AMD. And with that being said, that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the parts are in the description down below. Go ahead and buy from those to help the channel out. And trust me, this PC is going to be really good and you will not regret it if you're spending $500 on it. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments down below. I'll be replying to you guys. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification thingy so you don't miss out on uploads. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Roll the outro.